My name is uh, Massimo Introvigne. I'm a sociologist of religion and the founder and uh, managing director of CESNUR, the Center for Studies on New Religions in Italy. I study new religious movements and particularly new religious movements in um, East Asia. And one of my research projects concerns a group called Thai G Men. It is uh, uh, a group born in Taiwan, founded by Dr. Hong Tauts, and it is a mempai, something similar to a school, teaching uh, martial arts, uh, qigong, and self-cultivation uh, rooted in uh, esoteric uh, Taoism. Actually, it's more than that, because the teachings of Dr. Hong are at the same time moral and uh, social. They focus on the notion of conscience as a sort of uh, internal clock regulating all our life and leading to peace and uh, happiness. So Taiji Men is a global educational project which offers at the same time physical education, spiritual education, perhaps esoteric education, but also moral education and a projection toward social issues and world peace. This project was successful. Dr. Hong spoke in more than 100 countries, including at the United Nations and several UN agencies. But this global alternative educational projects, which are typical of contemporary, very active spiritual movements, always run a risk. And the risk is that in time of uh, political uh, retrenchment, uh, when uh, the aim to control by the political power becomes stronger, these groups uh, are perceived as too independent uh, and may run into trouble. That was what happened to Taiji Men in 1996. In that year, Taiwan had the first direct presidential elections, some large spiritual movements supported the candidate who eventually lost. And a crackdown on the spiritual movements followed. This crackdown also involved the Taiji men, although they had not taken any direct political position. So Dr. Hong, the founder of Taiji Men, his wife and uh, some disciples called Dizzi in the movement uh, were arrested, mistreated in jail and uh, committed to trial uh, for uh, uh, alleged uh, fraud and other crimes. Now, Taiji Men emerged uh, uh, from these criminal cases totally successful not only up to the criminal division of Taiwan Supreme Court, uh, Dr. Hong and his co-defendants were found not guilty. They even were awarded a national compensation for uh, wrongful uh, imprisonment. So it was a total victory. But unfortunately, this criminal case had a byproduct, uh, a tax case, uh, the tax office had accused uh, Dr. Hong and Taiji Men of tax evasion for several years up to 1996. And uh, the problem, which is typical of such uh, global, uh, spiritually based uh, educational institution, is whether the money given by the disciple, the Ditsi, to the Grand Master or leader called Shifu, if this money was a gift, as such tax exempt, or it was a tuition fee for tuition in a so-called cram school, i.e. a school where you prepare quickly, uh, normally for exams. Now, 
all the courts who had to rule in the matter in Taiwan and the Ministry of Education, which has authority on cram schools, ruled that uh, Taiji Men is not a cram school. And it took many years and the longest uh, court case uh, in uh, Taiwan's administrative history, 24 years and still not resolved now, to reduce to zero the tax bills against Dr. Hong and Taiji Men for all years except one, 1992. Because for 1992, because of a technicality, the National Tax Bureau maintained that uh, the taxes uh, were still due. Now, Taiji Men refused to settle for a good reason. Uh, of course, it would have been less expensive to settle than to continue a litigation for decades. But at the heart of their spiritual philosophy, is a principle of conscience and morality. You are honest, you respect the law, and you pay the taxes. So settling would have meant admitting they were guilty of tax evasion, and they were not, and they believe they were not. So they didn't settle, and the case went on until in 2020, uh, properties belonging to Dr. Hong were seized, uh, unsuccessfully auctioned, and then confiscated. And uh, Taiji men are now protesting in the street. These protests are uh, uh, very noticeable by local media in Taiwan as they involve the tens, uh, more than 10,000 people in the street. So they are protesting to rectify uh, what is uh, surely uh, a moral and legal uh, mistake uh, by the National Tax Bureau. But the interest of this story is uh, to show that even a very successful global educational project, uh, independent from the power that be and rooted uh, in uh, a minority spiritual movement, uh, may run against uh, the, uh, the power that be themselves uh, and may be subject to crackdown and even uh, persecution. And I found this dynamic uh, interesting and important, uh, even if a little bit disturbing. Thank you.